Hi, this is James C2. Welcome to our latest tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to look at the Relationship Assistant inside Dynamics 365. Now, the Relationship Assistant is a new key feature that's backed by artificial intelligence, which analyzes the relationships and the activities relating to your records and leverages information to your users. It comes in two parts. Relationship Insights collects data from a variety of sources from Microsoft software ecosystem like Office 365, in the Dynamics 365 suite to give you a 360 degree view of the customer, the record and the relationships. The Relationship Assistant keeps a track of the activities and communications and leverages them to the user. So in the example we can see here on the screen, at the top of our dashboard we have the Relationship Assistant which is displaying some cards. So I can see we've got a couple of opportunities which are due to be closed soon. So I can see we've got a membership renewal, one for a membership event for Tuesday, March the 14th and we also have a membership inquiry for March the 17th. So if I want to look at the records, I can simply click on it and the card takes me out to the record. And when the record opens, I can also see the cards are shown here. So within record and also within dashboards, you can have the cards exhibited to the users. It's a good prompt. I also have the option to snooze. So what that does is it resets the timer. We're not going to do that today, but you have that option as well. So let's just go back to our previous screen. And because we are administrators, we can actually look at what options are available. Now, just to show you some of them, we will look at this in a little while when we are setting up our cards. But the default options are the base cards. You have all of these options. So these can be set up to be shown to users under certain criteria. So if they have a meeting today, the meeting today card is shown. The default for close date coming soon on opportunities is 14 days. We've configured ours to be seven. But we also, these are really useful ones. The relationship analytics cards, if we come down there, if there's an account where there is no action being taken, i.e. they've been neglected, a card can be shown to the users. If a case has been neglected for a certain amount of time or a contact or a lead or an opportunity, cards can be created for that as well. So as you can see, the Relationship Insights, it's a very simple interface which allows a very powerful leverage of information to your users. It's a very good prompt. So how do we set that up? Now, what administrators need to take into account is that the Relationship Insights feature isn't by default enabled. You have to switch it on yourself. So it's quite simple to do. So we'll demonstrate it here. Just go into the settings area, into administration, and it's in your system settings. It's in the previews tab, which is the one on the far right hand side. First thing you have to do is obviously agree to terms and conditions. Feel free to read them here. There's a link. We have to enable our organization insights, and we also have to consider what we want from the Relationship Insight. So what we need to do is switch on your Enable Auto Capture so that pulls through your data, Enable Relationship Assistant so you see your cards, and Enable Email Engagement if you want to do that, so if you want to create cards from emails. Okay, once that's switched on, you'll see that we've now got Relationship Insights in our system options. What we can do now is go in here into Relationship Insights and set it up. So I'm going to switch on the Relationship Assistant and we'll just look at some of the base features at the moment. We want to look at our base cards. So what cards are going to be created when? So let's look at the base cards that are there. They are set by default to create these ones. So close date coming soon, email due today, fax due today, letter due today, etc, etc, etc. The default option for your closing date coming soon is 14 days. We've changed ours to seven. We don't deal with faxes, so we're going to take that out. And we also don't use these options. I can scroll down and see some other options. If you want to consider email cards from Exchange, do bear in mind that's a little more technical, so obviously it's not covered today, but if you do want to help with that, please don't hesitate to get in touch. We can also configure our auto capture options. Well, enable and switch it off and email engagement. But again, please do remember that's slightly more difficult. We're not going to look at that today. So I'm going to save those options. And now when we come to our dashboard, in the social wall, we have the option for assistant, and there we are, we have our cards coming in the top right hand side. If we come to the assistant, it will show us the cards in a slightly different UI. It's up to you which way you use it, it's up to the user which one's there. So that shows you both the power and how easy it is to set up your relationship insights and your relationship assistant. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please do give it a like and subscribe to the channel. If you want any more information, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thank you.